Do you want to see what happens to a lizard after two months slowly digesting inside a Nepenthes pitcher plant? Of course you do, just make sure that you've eaten your dinner first. So we'll come back to Green Thumbs Garden in another video. If this is your first time here and you love gardening videos, horticulture, ornamental plant care and DIY, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single thing. So Nepenthes is a type of carnivorous plant, also known as tropical pitcher plants or monkey cups. The Latin name given because monkeys often drink from the pitchers as a source of water to get maybe whatever food has been caught inside, hence the name monkey cup. And the Nepenthe genus has up to 170 different species, and that's not counting the many different natural crosses and hybrids that you find in the wild, and the man-made hybrids are becoming uncountable. And this is um, a hybrid, what we have here, between Ventricosa and Lowy. Ventricosa is known for being a really awesome beginner friendly plant, very easy to grow, hardy, can tolerate a, a wide variety of climates, and it's being crossed with Lowy. Lowy is a very unusual, unusual looking Nepenthe, which has um, got this hourglass kind of shape, as you can see here. It, the, these pictures take a lot after after Lowy, you can see in that hourglass form, and the rest of the plant takes after its um, ventricosa parent. It's a wonderful plant from my experience growing this hybrid. It's been very adaptable, very versatile, super fast grower, and well, it produces some absolutely stunning pictures as you can see here. So let's move on and get to the lizard. I can feel some of you guys getting nervous. Your little fingers are twitching on that mouse button. You're like, where's the lizard green from? We came for the lizard. Show us the lizard. Take me to your lizard. So two months ago today, I found two geckos frozen when I was cleaning out our outside freeze arm. They were right at the bottom, perfectly preserved. And I took them out of the fridge. As you see there, look at them, aren't they? Beautiful, such an amazing creature. Look at the eyes, the eyes are still shining. You'd think they were alive, but obviously they're long dead and, well, I didn't want to waste them. I had to honor them in the only way I knew how. So I plopped Gordon in one picture and I plopped Michael in the next one. And it's actually been two months today that those two little geckos have been slowly digesting within these pictures. Nepenthes use several different types of enzymes that the plant produces to break down its prey and slowly churn up like a salic pit anything that's inside, turning it into a nutrient-rich soup that the plant obviously uses as a fertilizer to feed and nourish it. Yeah, now you gotta admit that's some pretty cool stuff. So let's take out the gecko, take a look. Okay, so let's dig into these murky waters. You see how murky the water is that's had that gecko in there for two months. And wow, we've just pulled out a bit of gecko, a little bit like a lizard tail. It just instantly dissolved as, as I was trying to pull it out and I was thinking that the whole gecko probably was still going to be there in some kind of one piece at least, semi-dissolved, but that's all what's left, look, just goop. No idea if that's Gordon or Michael, I never told them, but they always looked the same anyway, but um, that's amazing. Look at it, that's all what's left. Let's get out these contents and throw them onto a plate and we can have a, a closer look to see what, what, what's left of that gecko, but man, them enzymes have really done their job in breaking down that flesh. Here we've got it on a plate and that's it, man. That's, that's all what's left of that gecko. Maybe I shouldn't have left it so long. Oh, I cannot believe that it's digested that so fast. And look at that, there's a, look at that, there's a little bone there. That's the only thing left really that says that it was a creature of some type. That little, looks like a little femur bone belonging to one of them geckos. That's uh, really spectacular. 
Let's have a little hunt around. See if we can find anything else. That looks like another bone there. You see that little bone there? Another one and another one there. Three little tiny bones. No idea what type of bones they are. The big one looks like a femur or something though. And um, yeah, that's it. Just goop that's left. It's really amazing or alien-like that these plants are able to to catch prey and, and digest it and utilize them nutrients to, to grow. It's something like a, from a sci-fi movie or something. If you were small enough and you fell into that trap, it'd eat you as well. It's um, no wonder these plants have been the inspiration of countless tales and stories. Let's get this stuff back in and take a look at the other picture. So there was nothing at all left in this picture plant of that gecko apart from a few little bones and a bit of a bit of goop. So let's take a look at the other one, see if we can find anything in the other Nepenthe, see if anything remains. So our second lizard went in here, in this one. And when I move it around, I can just about make out something in there, so... So maybe we'll have something left in this one. Oh, there's something there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we've still, we've got a bit of lizard goop here. Yeah. We've got a bit of a lizard's jawbone here. Lizard jawbone still, what's left over. That's the jawbone that's left. And it stinks a little bit now. Now I've disturbed it. Surprisingly wasn't stinking before. We've got lizard skin here. That's amazing, eh? Completely churned up and digested by the plant. So you might be wondering, well, why is it not full of mould and fungus, all that rotting flesh for two months in the heat? We're living in Spain and it's pretty hot here. Why is it not all full of fungus? Well, it's nothing short than amazing that the Nepenthes plant producers puts into its fluid antifungal and antimicrobial compounds that protect the plant from dangerous pathogens and also creates an unfavorable environment so that fungus and microorganisms cannot thrive within this tiny little micro environment. Now saying that obviously there's going to be some types of microbes and bacteria that can survive in this Nepenthes juice what the plant probably allows it and in the studies that show there's some types of bacteria that work in symbiosis with the plant helping to digest the prey further so that the plant can utilize as much as that nutrition as possible. It's truly an amazing plant and once you get bitten by the Nepenthes bug, you can become infatuated and it's a long lasting love affair that you'll have for the rest of your life. So if you're not into this plant just yet, put it on your to-do list. There's Nepenthes out there like Truncada and Raja that have been known and, and they've found small rodents like rats caught within their highly wooden traps. When you look at the traps, they're very woody. The little rodent couldn't escape. Can you imagine the stink? Now, what would be cool is if we had a decent microscope and we could take a little peer into this Nepenthes juice and see what, what, what we can see going on there on a microscopic level. Maybe that we can do one day in the future when there's a few funds floating about and we can get ourselves a decent microscope. At the minute though, there's no, <laughs> there's no microscope in the budget. Now, if you wanna know how you can grow Nepenthes at home and you want some beginner 101 care guide, then click on the video that's just popping up now here. And in that video, we'll talk about some of the beginner plants that you can buy that are forgiving, easy to grow, 
without needing an expensive setup like a fancy greenhouse, misters, foggers and all this kind of stuff that can be needed to grow some of the, the more sensitive plants, then click on the video that's just popped up here. It's been awesome catching up with you guys. We're here in Cordoba now and in a future video, I'll show you how we're getting along. Make sure if you wanna support the channel to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and be sure to share some of the channel's content with your friends. Helps the channel to get out there and get more views and, and helps the channel continue growing and that is an awesome way that you can support this channel. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.